Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about everybody's favorite ever-changing volatile topic of Grand Theft Auto 6. Thank you all for joining me today. Grand Theft Auto 6 might not be coming until 2023 and at this point 2023 isn't that far away. I remember in 2019 talking about or just hoping for the possibility that this time right now in 2021 we would be looking at a GTA 6 trailer over and over or playing the game and that was kind of a pipe dream and now we still obviously don't have anything from Rockstar Games but that doesn't mean that various leaks and rumors can come true as it's happened in the past with games like Red Dead Redemption and so much more. Now quickly for the algorithm, could I please ask that y'all leave a thumbs up? A little love goes a long way. I'll wait. Thank you so much. And now to really jump into things, Rockstar recently posted an ad looking for game testers. Now what I don't understand in this, like I said, ever-changing volatile climate of Grand Theft Auto 6 rumors, one thing will tell you one thing one day and then you'll have another rumor the next that's the complete opposite and very contradictory. Uh, but that's what makes it fun. But it's been getting a lot of attention that Rockstar Games recently was looking for game testers in Edinburgh, India, and another location. And with that, I've got to say that that is nothing new. This has been gaining a lot of traction in the community with people thinking that Rockstar must be about to reveal something big uh, because they want game testers. But if you actually take a look back, I was talking about this in 2019 as well. Rockstar India was hiring game testers for an unannounced title. And basically when it comes to game testing, it's not that you're sitting down and playing a fully completed game. Now, at this point in Grand Theft Auto 6's life cycle, or development cycle, I should say, without speculating too much, uh, obviously the game's gonna be far more along than it was a couple years ago. But even then, sitting down and testing games isn't just getting a controller and getting to play a game that nobody else has gotten to play yet through a story mode and everything. Really, what you're gonna be doing is going into a gaming environment that is probably like very low resolution, uh, low polys and all that kind of stuff that has to do with video game development and you're gonna be looking for bugs you're gonna be looking for glitches and things that could be game breaking it's a very very tedious process and that is kind of my uneducated uh, analysis of that so Rockstar is looking for game testers but that doesn't mean that Grand Theft Auto 6 is done and about to be released very soon and that's the most depressing part about this so Grand Theft Auto 6 most likely isn't going to come until late 2023, and where does that come from? Well, from Viewer Anon on Twitter. So, there was a tweet that was posted that he quoted saying, Gamers su suspect Grand Theft Auto 6 is dropping soon after Rockstar posts ad looking for game testers, which we just discussed. And he quoted that tweet with, Define soon. Companies test games for years, and last year, Rockstar internally had Grand Theft Auto 6 set for a late 2023 release, which is insane, right? If that's real, that means that this is the first ever Grand Theft Auto game that has taken over 10 years. That would essentially be the time frame from when Vice City released until GTA 5 released, give or take like one year and a couple months. That is crazy! Because in the time frame from Vice City to GTA 5, we had GTA San Andreas, GTA for the Game Boy Advance, Vice City Stories, Liberty City Stories, and Grand Theft Auto 4. Five different titles, and in 10 years, we're only going to have one. So obviously, Grand Theft Auto 6 is probably going to be amazing. So who is Viewer Anon, though? Is this a random guy? Who is he? Well, Viewer Anon actually has a very, very reputable track record when it comes to leaking things, but not in the gaming community or gaming scene. Uh, he has revealed plots for movies that have been very accurate, especially in the DC Universe movies. Uh, Wonder Woman was one, I believe, and there's a few more. So that's where his track record comes from. Even though it's not related to Rockstar, that doesn't mean that he knows somebody on the inside. He also followed up that tweet with another tweet stating, Questions I've been getting. They're not going to announce GTA 6 before GTA 5's next-gen upgrade is released. Red Dead Redemption 2 was announced one year before its original release date. Expect Grand Theft Auto 6 
to be announced late next year if the pandemic hasn't set it back. So that's that. That's the verdict from viewer Anon. You can take that how you want it. But when it comes from people with a reputable track record, I tend to believe things like that, even if you don't want to because it's not what you want to hear. And uh, I believe he is very right. And I agree with the statement as far as Rockstar is not going to announce GTA 6 before the GTA 5 re-release for the billionth time on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Obviously, Rockstar plans to announce that this summer, unless they push that back for whatever reason. But when that is announced, I would like to think that we would see a GTA 6 announcement in October of this year. Uh, but obviously, I believe the pandemic has played a major role in pushing that back. If that was the case, uh, we might have seen it this year if, if the pandemic never happened. But there's another insider who we talked about just a few weeks ago, Tom Henderson, who stated that GTA 6 and its announcement probably won't come until late 2022. And as we know, Rockstar tends to like to announce their games in October, as they have with Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. And generally, there's a couple delays in the announcement or in the, the official release date, and then we receive it about a year and 10 months to two years after the announcement. And well, if that's the case and we get it this year, we're looking at late 2023. If Rockstar announces it next year, then we are still looking at a 2023, hopefully not 2024 release date. But I guess only time will tell when it comes to that. But I did just want to sit down and chat with you guys about this information because when it comes to Grand Theft Auto 6, and I'll, I'll say for the third time in this video, it's very volatile and it's ever-changing. And at this point, even though things aren't coming from Rockstar, it doesn't mean the leaks aren't true, but that's the only thing going on right now as far as Rockstar Games goes. And so it's kind of exciting, anticipating the unknown, not necessarily speculating on it, but... Man, Rockstar has been dead silent about everything. And if I could offer advice as a random guy on the internet to Rockstar, it would be they need to create a media team for social media, a marketing team that communicates with us uh, fans. They used to do that back in the day. But somewhere along the line after GTA Online released, that stopped. And I think a lot of y'all watching can agree with me on that. If y'all remember when Rockstar used to do that, it was amazing. Rockstar would do giveaways. Rockstar would be very involved and interacted with their community. But nowadays, there's just not much going on. So anyways, I hope that y'all did enjoy this chat. Um, when it comes to these type of videos, uh, I like to think of it more of like a, a podcast type format. This is just one-on-one. -on -one. Me talking to y'all, man. Keeping it real. Uh, as always, I don't like to talk about things that don't have some sort of credibility or that are just completely pointless. So hope y'all enjoyed. If you did please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more and as always i hope to see y'all in the next upload have a great day